Hello everyone. Today let's think about what would happen if the sun disappeared. As crazy as it may sound, it is entirely possible that one day the sun may disappear from our world. It is quite possible that a free-floating planet to pass near Earth and its gravity to cause Earth to be kicked out of the solar system. In 2017, experts reveal that over 10 billion free-floating planets exists in the Milky Way galaxy and have been floating around in the vastness of space since they lost their stars long ago. Today, we will be discussing on what will happen to humanity and to Earth if we lose the Sun. What would happen if one day the Sun suddenly disappeared and for some reason humanity were unable to react appropriately. Everything about Earth will change dramatically. The Earth will fly chaotically, and while the Moon may follow Earth, you won't be able to see the Moon in the sky anymore. Simply because there won't be any sun rays for the Moon to reflect. On the other hand, since the brightness of the Sun will be gone, other stars will shine brighter than ever. Also, the whole Earth will be swallowed up into an unfathomable darkness. A suburban field will be 300 times darker compared to a cloudless night with a full moon. And of course, chaos will erupt in many parts of the world. As people living in warm countries are not used to the low temperatures, when the temperature suddenly drops, people will flee in search of a location where they can survive the harsh winter. In the beginning, lights and heat will be available as the power plants will be functioning normally. It is said that within the first three days, the average temperature would drop down to an average of zero degrees Celsius. For a while, the atmosphere and the ocean will maintain its heat, so there won't be a sudden drop in the temperature there. In about a week after the sun disappears, some people predict that the average temperature of the Earth would drop down to minus 3 degrees Celsius, and some predict as low as minus 17 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. In two to three weeks, most of the plants on Earth will die, as without the sun, the temperature will drop drastically and the plants won't be able to perform photosynthesis. The bigger the tree, the more nutrients they store, thus they'll be able to last longer. From this point on, no new oxygen will be produced in the atmosphere, but due to various reasons, the existing oxygen will be sufficient for a while. That is because, first of all, by plants dying, any oxygen consuming creatures such as humans and animals will go extinct. Furthermore, the atmosphere contains a lot of oxygen, so even if we consume the oxygen at the same rate as we do today, it will last for several hundred if not a thousand years. Some scientists estimate that the average temperature of the Earth will drop to minus 40 degrees Celsius, while others estimate as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius. So, if developed countries built shelters, just like how God created Noah's Ark to rescue humanity, people will be able to live relatively comfortably for the first few months. Of course, this is assuming that the people of the developing countries do not swarm into the shelters as a result of chaos and panic. And eventually, the command structure and systems will collapse like an avalanche as most governments in the developed countries will become dysfunctional. Not a single person will be able to control this situation. It is impossible for millions and billions of people to cope this drastic change. Considering it will be colder and colder by time, sooner or later, clearly the power plants will stop being operational. As a result, the only chance for survival is if you move to an area where geothermal energy is generated. For example, in Iceland, more than 80% of homes are heated using geothermal energy. The advantage of geothermal energy is that it will never run out, is not affected by the environment, the seasons, nor the availability of the sun. Therefore many people will be seeking for this geothermal energy in order to survive. As a result, the government will not function and it will lead to confusion genocide 
and starvation. Within two, three years after the sun disappears, the average temperature on Earth will reach minus 100 degrees Celsius. Even the ocean, at least 10 meters in depth, will be completely frozen. At this point, without a spacesuit-like clothing, you will die within a few minutes if you go outside. Your lungs will freeze after a single breath. Essentially, within the first 12 to 6 months, unless you can settle into a place where you can stay warm, death will be unavoidable. However, once the temperature drops significantly, the rate of decrease thereafter will be slower. Slowly but surely, within a decade, the temperature will reach minus 125 degrees Celsius, and because the atmosphere is so cold, the air particles will condense, fall, and accumulate on the ground. In the beginning, it'll be liquidy, then eventually, it will solidify and accumulate like snow. As a result, the air in the atmosphere becomes thinner and thinner. So without a spacesuit-like clothing that can control the air pressure, it'd be impossible to go out at all. The first thing us human beings should do is to prepare a machine that can generate oxygen consistently. If that's not available, we then need some sort of system or a method that can dissolve the accumulated solidified substance. In addition, we must have some form of a backup for the generators and other equipments. Lastly, wherever humans end up living, plants will need to be exposed to artificial lights so that they can photosynthesize. The thick layer of ice in the ocean will block the influence of the outside world, and small organisms living deep under the ocean that can survive without light and oxygen will be able to survive thanks to geothermal heat. These organisms can convert such heat into energy. 200 years after the sun disappears, several kilometers depth of Earth will be completely frozen. However, since the core of Earth emits heat consistently, beneath thick ice, along with microorganisms, there will be some unfrozen water. It will remain in that state for several billion years. David Stevenson, the professor of Earth Science at the California Institute of Technology, believes that millions of years after the sun disappears, the Earth's temperature will be at a constant minus 160 degrees Celsius, which will cause the heat emitted by the Earth's core and the heat by geothermal energy to be the same. In summary, Earth may become like a spaceship for microorganisms or giant organisms that survived deep underwater. As this is all prediction, who knows if humans can actually even survive the first 100 years after the sun's disappearance. If the sun suddenly disappeared, it would be extremely difficult to build a giant shelter which is essential for the survival of mankind and allow self-efficiency in such harsh cold weather and in such a short period. But if we can predict the disappearance of the sun early, by perhaps five years, our chances of survival will increase exponentially. Even if the human race becomes extinct, while it'll be a long shot, after wandering the universe for billions of years, the Earth may encounter a star similar to the Sun, and the Earth may begin to revolve around it. If that happens, the iced ocean will unfreeze again, and the microorganisms that survived will start a new race for survival and evolution, may even to a point where another intelligent life species is born. That is it for today. Isn't it scary to imagine a world without the sun? Let's appreciate our world, where the sun lights us. We also appreciate you guys, the viewers, as much as we appreciate the sun. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.